Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this elastic band gun that is all made out of paper, um, a few clothes pegs, paper clips here, and uh, some tape. And that's all it's made out of. Easy, very easy to make. So I'll show you how to make this and how it works. I missed that time. Nice. Oh, I missed. Okay, so to start off building this dual barrel pistol, I connected two markers together. You can use two markers or something around this size, and I'm just going to use this as a mold, basically, for wrapping the paper. So this isn't going to be permanent, I'm just keeping it in here just to help me wrap the paper straight. So take your time with the beginning of the wrapping, you want it to be nice and tight, because that will give it more strength. So there you go. And then just try wrapping it straight from here. So try not to, uh, I already started going off a little. Let's wrap it up. And you want to have tape to tape it together after. You can use glue too, but I find tape just works better. And when you tape it, make sure you put the tape on, then pull it tight around. And I'd say around four pieces of tape is what you need. And since we're doing a dual barrel one, a dual barrel pistol, we have to do this twice. So just push this out, and, pull it out. and then now we'll do this once more. Let me try connecting it the other way. Now we have our two barrels done, right here. So we have this top part done. Next we're going to do the two trigger, not the trigger, sorry, the uh, handle. So for the handle, you fold a piece of paper in half, try getting it as perfect as possible. And you're going to, I use a glue stick here. To wrap this one, just a medium sized glue stick. And again, I do the same thing as last time. Put this in the middle. And when you have this done, again, a few pieces of tape will suffice. And I find just for this glue doesn't work as well. Tape seems to do the trick best. Then push the glue stick out. Repeat that for the last one, just fold it over. And now that you have all your pieces, it's time to put it all together, and you'll put it together something like this. So, to start off putting it together, I grab one paper clip and clip the 
two barrels together. And as you can see here, that doesn't look too nice, so I try getting the, um, the sides where the tape is facing the inside. Either the inside or the bottom, both work. Both hide it. I think I'll have them facing the bottom, actually. So, where, the, where your split is in the paper, have that on the bottom. And a paper clip on the back. You can glue these together if you want. But I find a small paper clip works well. And there you go. Just slid a paper clip on them. Next, you're going to want to either tape or glue this right here to this here. Like that. So I think I'll choose glue because this part of glue works better. So I have my hot glue gun. You can tape it if you want. Like right here, I tape this here. The first one I built. So have the uh, split facing downwards. And just put that right on there. And lastly, we have one more of these. Have the split again facing downwards so you don't have to look at it and um, tape and glue work well for this one I'll glue it but I also want to tape it and the most important part here is just make sure it's all straight so look down the gun make sure you put it all together straight and there you go and this part here I think I'll put some tape around. That two pieces. There you go. And this is the the base of the gun, I guess you could say. Next is the mechanics part, the part that's going to fire the elastic band. So right here, we're going to glue the paper clips on. Actually, we can do that a little longer. Have it sit off the back a little. There's one more. Just that glue up again. And right there. So now we have the we have the two clothes hangers. I might have called them paper clips before, but the two clothes hangers right here. And uh, lastly, we need something for the elastic bands to attach to on the front. So you can really use anything for this. You can stick a popsicle stick out the front and just glue it in, or um, a skewer or toothpick, anything. I'm just going to use paper clips because. I have them already. And you can just put them on like this. And a little glue could help also just to hold them, stop them from slipping. And here's your gun. Time to load it up and test it. So now that you've finished building it, I'm going to show you how to load it and shoot it. Start by opening up the clothes peg, put the elastic band inside of it, and pull it all the way to the front, putting it underneath the paper clip. Get the other clothes peg, open it, put this under, and there you go. Now it's all loaded, ready for shooting. Now to shoot it, all you have to do is press down on this clothes peg here, or this clothes peg, and each of them will shoot a shot. Okay, and to show you the gun working once more, it's loaded again as you can see. I'm going to shoot it at the fridge over here. So, Oh, sorry, it's a little low. There you go. And as you can see, it shoots across the whole room and hit the fridge.